Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the ABS Show. My name is Charlie Dior. Yavi. I am Glitterati. And I'm the Manny Man. And yes, if you've been tuning in all week, then you know that we have a new co-host, one of our new co-hosts, Ms. Glitterati. Oh my gosh, you guys are giving me so much life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, everything is great. We're getting along for now. For now. But she's awesome. Ooh. And uh, how, how are you feeling? How has your experience been ah, so far? Amazing. You yes. guys are spoiling me, Seth. Hey. Really? Hey. Hey. It's Virgo season, so I'm feeling it. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm not feeling this because today's topic is crazy. But before we dig into that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also after the Go on um, our Instagram and follow us at the AVS show. It's Absolutely. like we're all in sync. It's like yeah. black and gold oh, thing going on. Oh, Great minds think alike, and we I'm didn't even plan you. it. Yeah. All right, so let's get into it. Let's unpack this. Lady goes viral on Twitter after she advises men to not leave their women when they catch them cheating. Mm -hmm. This was hot, hot on Twitter. People were agreeing with her, and some people were disagreeing with, with her. So I want to ask to discuss this because it has to do with relationship and cheating. So, do you agree with her? Mm. Do you not agree with her? And let's talk about it. That's it's a resap. If you're cheating on me, it's done. There's Ooh. no, there's no going back. There's no going back and forth. Because once a cheater, always, always a, a cheater. cheater. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm, I don't care, man, woman. Unless we have an open relationship, mm -hmm. we are that I can do me, you could do you. Mm -hmm. Then I'll stay. But if you're cheating on me. No matter if it's a man, woman, or whatever, there's no say. I mean, people forgive, and there's the greater good and all that nonsense. Mm -hmm. But the suspicion is always going to be there. But before we even get hmm. to that, what is cheating? Let's exactly. I, I, that's like, let's, defi oh. let's, <laughs> let's define it. Let's, let's define a cheating. <laughs> once a cheater, so once a cheater. what do you define as cheating for you? Mm -hmm. I think that there's mental cheating. That's when you are texting somebody, calling somebody, when you could be calling the significant other. Mm -hmm. Cyber. There's, you know, that, you know, when phone sexting and all that stuff, that's cheating to me. And also just, you know, Getting in the act, kissing, spending time with somebody when you already have somebody in your life. I think there's so many layers to cheating mm -hmm. because sometimes emotion, some people can just have sex mm -hmm. and it's not as important, serious as when they are just given that emotional being of themselves. So I think that cheating is multi-layered and I think everybody has their own definition of, of what cheating. they will count as cheating. Mm -hmm. What do you define as cheating, Yazzie? Exactly what she said. Just like she said it, there are different types of cheating, being emotionally attached to someone, sexting someone or having sex with someone, kissing someone. It's, it, again, different layers of it, just like she said, and every, everyone has their deal breaker. There's some people that when you kiss someone, they're out. When you have sex with someone, there's some people that might be okay with, with you doing it and other people that might not be okay with you doing it. For me, the way I, <laughs> I define cheating is if you're not gonna do it in front of me, I like that. It's cheating. Yeah. Oh, you understand that's what I'm it. saying? That's mm. So yeah, if you have, if you feel that comfortable hugging somebody in front of me and doing that, then maybe you're not crossing the line. But if you're doing it behind my back, that means you know when I find out it's gonna piss me off. Mm -hmm. Or it's gonna break my heart, and that's why you were doing it. So for me, that is cheating. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you're in a relationship with someone, right? Yeah. And they don't physically cheat on you, like, you know, by being in the act with someone else. But let's just say they're always mentally thinking about someone else or they're mentally having sex with someone else. Is that cheating? Mentally having sex with somebody else? Fantasizing. Like, you're fantasizing. fantasizing. Like, let's say they're at work and they, they've never had sex with this person. But every time they see that person, those thoughts cross their mind. But that, like, is for that me, different? for me, okay, so... It, Maybe cheating, but it's not a deal breaker. Okay. It's not a deal breaker because for me, there's a rule when you date me. You can look, but you cannot touch. So you can fantasize about whoever you want to fantasize about. You can look at them when they pass by. But once you start touching, that's when you transfer the feelings so they from they talk too, but they just can't touch. We, t we all talk. It's okay to flirt. There's innocent flirting. So, so you can I talk. Could, you know, I could make comments like, ooh, when I catch you in bed. And, and it's fine with you as long as I don't talk actually do it. Talk is cheap. <laughs> At the end of the day, we all talk. That one is not even deep. Yes. Talk is cheap. But what, what do you define as cheating? Cheating is giving your time, your attention to someone else when you're in a relationship. Sexual attention most of the time mm. to someone else. That's you why there's cyber cheating, emotional cheating, and physical cheating. So I don't know if that thought could be emotional cheating, but emotional cheating is also depriving the person you are with the attention, giving the attention to someone else. But that's not even the one I want to ask. The one that I really need to know, that's why I'm on this table, is if you are with somebody, mm. and you guys are dating or mm -hmm. married, and privately you masturbate and the person does not know, is that cheating? Oh, wow, you People do it. that all the you time. Is that cheating? It. It, that, 
That's that what I'm asking. Sexual fun, isn't it? It's fun. <laughs> Fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> really? Wait, you masturbate privately. Your partner does not know about it. Is that it's cheating? cheating. I don't think it's cheating. No. How is it not cheating? You don't want her or him to know about what? it because he or she might not accept that, knowing fully well that you pleasure yourself without him or her. Is that okay, cheating? So that's cheating. I, okay, that so, is not cheating. Okay, so that isn't cheating. I don't think it's cheating no. because if you are pleasuring yourself, but at the end of the day, you still give me the no no. Hmm. Yeah. At the end of the night, at least you are still satisfying me as well. Exactly. But you are free to play with. Whoever you but, want to play but, with but, yourself. But you know, there are some people, when you pleasure yourself, you think of other things. Yeah. You, might, you might even be watching porn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So or you might be fantasizing on that guy at work. And you pleasure yourself. That is cheating. That's cheating. Yeah, but is that a deal breaker? Cheating, does that though? make you I, I, want to leave your I, man? Does that make you want to leave your husband? A cheater, this is a different level, a though. What she said was that if somebody literally had sex, right? Is that what she's talking about? He, she didn't say sex, but she, she said cheating. You. She just used you the are word. Basically saying, just apologize and be a better person. I think That's what she's saying. I had a girl once tell me that she has sex with other girls on her husband and she doesn't think it's cheating. Because it's opposite wow. sex? Because it's the opposite okay, sex. That's, that's that it's not cheating. That's cheating. But that's what I'm saying is that there's so many different layers of it. Listen, yeah. I just think point blank that men and women were both not born to be monogamous and that's it. And Wait, that's, both or both. just men? I don't think that we were born to be monogamous. And every seven years, I'll buy everything about you changes. Every seven years. Yeah, From your height, your weight, the food that you like, literally everything about you changes. And one of the things that could change is your attraction to your significant other Ooh, for men and it. women. So then why leave the person? Okay, listen, so this is it. If you're not interested in your partner anymore, if you are, like you say, things are changing, you feel like you need more and your, your partner is giving you less, leave the relationship. Why then be cheat? Honest, be be honest. honest about it. So why be then honest. cheat? Because that's just how society is set mm. up. Like for example, if you're Christian, you're Muslim, you're not leaving. Yeah. Some, like when, you, when there are kids involved, there's some, I know plenty of people, I have a friend and the wife knows. It's almost like an arrangement. He's like, she knows, she already knows. We're staying married because of the kids. Monday through Friday, he doesn't even live at home. He mm. financially takes care of them. They're good. They have like a beautiful mansion in Westchester, all of that stuff. Monday through Friday, he lives with a totally different woman. And she knows. Wow. The wife knows. And then well, on the weekend. I don't think then there's cheating, that's cheating. Him. You know you are in it, you are in yeah. the situation. Okay, so you know what you're getting out of it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cheating. I don't know how much the wife knows. But the girlfriend definitely knows the real deal. But the wife, I don't know how much she knows, but she does know that the marriage is basically, basically she's only married to him because they have kids. Have you ever been cheating on? That's a whole nother story we're gonna get to in a second. I have. But That's why I we can talk so about that. Yeah, yeah, talk about about okay, I have. I've been cheated on a, like, you know, a couple of times, right? And you left every single time. I left every single time. Because, you did? And because one of the excuses that somebody said, some, the person cheated on me, mm. and this is the reason they cheated on me was because I just, Look, I just seemed like I never needed them. Mm. So they went with, they dated somebody who needed them because you know I'm, a, I'm an independent woman. So they, right. I got my own, right? right. Mm -hmm. So I didn't need them. I wasn't always like, oh, I need you, need you, need you. I'm like, well, I'm trying to build myself. I'm trying to grow. So you're gonna cheat on me because I don't need you. Does that make sense? When Wait, you what? say cheat, like had a full blown relationship, like taking the other girl had out a full -blown for dinner, took the person to a hotel, had d d new new, yeah, so you don't, so you don't believe you don't believe in second chance. You don't believe in second Sec chance. So okay, okay, cheat, okay, okay I'm gonna be okay. Let me be. I did give this person. I tried to give them a second chance. Mm -hmm. Then I looked at their phone, and they were still communicating with that person and everything. That's why I don't believe in second chances anymore because the thing about it is that even after like they, they begged, they cried, everything, I took them back, but they were still doing the same thing. And then me, myself, I was erratic. I was checking everything. Mm. I was checking every, mm. like everything from there, like where they were going. Did they log on to Facebook? Uh -huh. I did that person, like I was obsessed. It became like crazy. Mm. But I became so crazy sorry, with yeah. it. But Yazi said something about mm. the humans that we are not monogamous. So to me, if you leave every time, every, if you leave every time somebody cheats, it's like leaving your country for another country because it rained, because it's gonna rain everywhere. Is ra That's cheating raining? Raining? I mean, raining? No, I'm just giving like, an example, what? because if she says humans, can't be monogamous, which I, I don't agree we with. Yes. There are certain people that Who don't cheat. Only but what I want only to say pigeons. about second yeah. chance is that there are certain people that are actually really remorseful for what they did. Some people cheat. I haven't run, I've not Wait, come across them. Some, <laughs> this is why. Some people cheat and then they actually let their partner know because they couldn't live with the guilt. How about that? If I let you know that I cheated and I can't live with it and I'm sorry, would you still break up with me? Not because you found out, but because I was really sorry. There's still gonna so be So would you give me a chance to actually do the same thing you did? Yeah. 
Yeah, because would you let I, me get my my, me, my, see, whole my pass? My no, free my pass personality. To I deal will. with somebody else. I don't then. know about you, but I will. That's right, so my first kind of, of all, I disagree with what you said about mm -hmm. human beings can be. People are doing it. There are people that have been in relationship with one person for a whole... Um, so like, they're they're teenagers teenagers they're teenagers. Because they're telling you that they're not cheating doesn't mean they're not Okay, so my, my father did it. My father and mother did it. So what are you trying to say? Okay, Excuse me. Know. My point is, my point, there are people that are doing it. So the difference between us and animals is that we can think. We, right. we can think and we can control well, our, our well, emotions. Michelle, how do you know what happened? Not that I'm even like questioning your family, but how do you know what happened? Because you don't know every step of your mom and your dad in those points, but right? But I understand that. Things happen. I understand okay. that. But I'm saying that, so there's nobody that has been in the model, uh, um, one relationship for a long time. I know. Is that what you guys are telling me? Who are you? Who are you in your life? I would love to talk to them. You have a bunch of cheaters in your life. I would love to talk to them. I would love to talk to them. And sex addicts in your life. Clearly. The funny thing is. Talk to me. Because I've never cheated. No, but Charlie, let me be honest with you. Have you been cheated on? Mm, okay, yeah. then. All right. Okay. I don't know about your parents. <laughs> I don't know about your parents, but most times on the census, the people that have lived, the couples that have lived longer to like their 90s and 80s, they've cheated. Somebody, one of them has cheated. And, and, and they you made guys up. are saying on record it's a fact. And right. Yes. I don't believe if that. If you keep running, you keep living like, forever, forever, you forever. forever, forever. Example, you never stay one place. So you guys are telling me Obama cheated? Uh, of course. Ooh. Oh well, he, my god. It just hasn't been captured. I don't he's know about that. He cheated on Beyonce. Come on. Even how you barely got cheated on. Did you see him flirting with that white lady when they were in South Africa for Mandela's No, Obama cheated? He was flirting no. so hard. His wife looked at him with this razor that stare. That was just the way they wanted it to see. Well, I'm just saying. The thing about it besides, is that you never know. Besides penguins, I said pigeons earlier, so I wanted to correct pigeons. myself. It's not pigeons, it's penguins. <laughs> penguins, like, according to science, penguins are the only living beings that have, are able to stick to one partner forever. I haven't cheated. I need a I've never cheated life. on a boyfriend. I'm a male penguin. I've never I cheated. Need a but I've been cheated on. I have never cheated on a boyfriend, but I have been cheated on. So So you've not been in a relationship and then flirting with somebody else. I mean I mean it goes back to what you consider I mean, cheating. You know what? I'm a Libra, so I'm a natural flirt. Like even you, like sometimes I might throw Excuse a flirt. Me, what at do you mean you. even me? Because we she, don't look at each other in that way. No, she's like even you. Because I'm just saying sorry, you're like my sorry. brother, but Okay. Not like I yeah. flirt with my brother, but you yeah, get what I mean. I I'm a Libra, exactly. so like, and I make like the a worst Libra jokes. That on me too. Mm. And oh, you know, what about it was a Libra about, that cheated on me too. What about Tauruses? Like Tauruses? <laughs> Tauruses cheated on me too. Oh, what sign are you? <laughs> what sign are you? Pisces. Uh, Pisces cheated oh, on me oh, too. Oh, 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 she has oh, yeah. dated, no good. dated the no whole good. January no to good. December. No good. No good. Yes, yes, yes. Here's my rule. Here's my rule when it comes to when you get cheated on. When you get cheated on, you literally have only two options. The mm. first option is you check out. Yeah. But sometimes if you're going to check out, just know that the grass is not always going to be green on the, on the other side. Mm. Another thing is that if you do stay, my brother, we are now in an open relationship. Okay, because I'm Just know, mind. like, you know, um, <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm going to openly do it in your face. <laughs> but because, because I try that, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people don't know this, but I was married for 10 years. And 10 unfortunately, years. my husband cheated on me over and over. Um, I never caught him, but it was several other times that the girls, like, you know, I had girls calling me. I had girls pulling up to my house. What? Like, what? what? Exactly, these like little hood rats is really feeling all it these kinds, days, aren't they? <laughs> like Real you know what I mean, all kinds of shit. And I was young and dumb. And the first couple of times, I took him back, and I still never cheated. But then I realized when you take it back, he's just gonna keep doing it again. And I never trusted him. Just like you said, I went crazy stalking on Facebook. You want to see whose picture he liked? <laughs> yeah. This mm -hmm. checking the phone, and every time I checked the phone, girl, I found what I did not need to find. You see, this is why you don't check because if you I don't even Google people no, 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 this no is more. why you don't check because if you look for something, you will find. You're gonna find it. So you're but when you get cheated all? on, but when you get so you cheated on, you don't like, trust okay. anymore. For me, if you're, if you're gonna do all of those work, go above and beyond searching, <laughs> FBI in, and, and doing all I of that. So when you got cheated on, you didn't do that? You just took no, the person just, back? No, I just, I didn't take nobody back. Oh, I, got okay. a, I got a phone call, you know, and then confirmed everything. But for me, I'm not checking. Because if you're gonna do all those work, you hurt pack yourself. your stuff and leave. Ah, yeah. Because that means the trust is gone. Because if you trust that person, you're not gonna be looking through his drawers or her drawers. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was having this conversation with a friend this past weekend mm -hmm. and he was saying that maybe sometimes there's an excuse so let's say a man is cheating because you're not giving attention attention like your your situation mm -hmm. or sex for me there's no excuse though there's none do you guys think at least at least that is excusable no, for, no i don't no, 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 care there's yeah. excuse there's excuse psychologically well, excuse. because we are dating mm -hmm. i have needs mm -hmm. you're not meeting my needs what needs 
My needs, my needs. What's, What's your needs? needs? Sexual needs. Mm -hmm. Maybe the type of sex I like. Mm -hmm. Maybe I like head and mm -hmm. you like leg. So tell me. Leg then we come ah, like what, what sex position is leg? I'm just kidding. I am asking. And then we, we <laughs> talk about it, right? We talk about it once, what? twice, three times. Mm -hmm. And you're still not like, because that's not you. Maybe you were brought in a very religious home. Mm -hmm. You're like, let's go to bed, pray, mm -hmm. and then do. And me, I don't and want to go do. to bread. I, want, I, don't want to, I want to do it in the kitchen, in the pallo. I have those okay, fantasies. On the roof. Mm -hmm. You understand? On the roof. In, the, in my bed. Oh but I'm not getting it. So and then <laughs> I communicate about it with a friend, maybe a male friend or mm -hmm. something, or I start having those fantasies mm -hmm. and I start looking for that outside. Mm -hmm. It happens. Okay. Let's so then when it. you explain that to your wife or to your girlfriend, you expect your girlfriend and your wife to under, at least understand. Try. Meet you halfway. Try and understand why you cheated. You no, no. You're to meet crazy. me halfway with my needs, not why no, I cheated. No, but I'm saying, you, but she didn't meet you with <laughs> your mean, needs. Me, hold on, hold on. <laughs> your needs weren't met, right? So you went somewhere else and you got it and you cheated, mm. right? You still expect your wife to at least understand the reason why you did it. At least no, you have no, a reason, no. right? Because people cheat. Mm -hmm. Now, my reason for cheating was, honey, you wasn't giving me the noon. Mm. So I went somewhere else for you. You are crazy. For me, this is what it is. If you respect somebody, if you love somebody, mm -hmm. and you care for the person, even if you're not meeting with meeting your needs, mm. that's why we have therapy. That's why we have somebody that's to talk to. That's the communication. That's the communication. But, but the communication happening, you're still... That's now, what get, I'm saying. You, you when you communicate, it. the person should make an effort. If you guys want to go see a therapist, you want to go see a sexologist, you should you have to like get before see marriage. Anything. This is one of the reasons why I highly support having sex before marriage. Because it is very true. Let me tell you something. People like all kinds of different sex. There are people that like having their toes sucked, all kinds of stuff that I would never do. Deep throat. So we need to go through this. Step on my balls. This leg. Go. We need, to go, we need to go through no this before we get married <laughs> or before we get serious so that it is finally clear like Yazzie Stush does not suck toes. True. So that you cannot expect that Listen, in a relationship. I'm just trying to... I, I don't think you guys understand what I'm yeah. saying. I'm saying that we are saying cheating. We are talking about cheating, yeah, right? Yeah. Right. Some people do have a reason. I'm mm. saying, would there you should accept never that be a reason? reason? You yeah, should, should never yeah, be a reason. Yeah, but there are different conditions. That one is you're in your right My state of mind. My brother, listen now. Wait now. That one is you're in your right state of mind. You did it willfully. You could be drunk or drugged or you know. Drunk that's an drugged. excuse. You know that, right? That's what I mean. But mm -hmm. you could be in the wrong place at the wrong time or with your friends hanging out and then you're high or something and then you get whatever you get into something with somebody. Like they call it one night stand. It's and a lot of scenarios. I feel Wait. like you've had a lot of excuses in your relationship. Yes, no, you are bringing, you have given every excuse in the book now. But wait, now they okay, think you have cheated. Though. Wait, you have, have wait, you cheated? I have been cheated on for Have you cheated? I have been cheated. Have you cheated? Have you cheated? Nigerian men don't cheat. Oh, oh my lie. Lie. lie! I said what I said. Nigerian men nah, don't lie. cheat. Oh. I support this 100%. We don't cheat. Nigerian men do not cheat. They created cheating. Hey! That's what it is. They do not cheat. They created it. <laughs> so, but let me learn, though. Let me learn, though. You know, the, 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 I understand everything, but psychologically, you don't really have to go back to him. But do you know that you still carry that garbage to your next relationship? I do. If you and your I do next, and even the next guy, who Absolutely. is a good guy, You're who right. is not really doing anything wrong, because you all have that experience and everything in your head, you're still going to put him in a position okay. to maybe leave you, because mm. you're going to pick everything, yeah. suspect everything, yeah. check his phones, and right. he might not be able to and deal that's with it. The, and that's the reason why no one should ever cheat on anyone. Because before you cheat on someone, life. you need it's to think life. about all of these things and the repercussions that it has. My thing is, there's never an excuse for cheating. I don't care who, what, when, how, because as adults, we should have open communication and know what we want before yes. we get in a serious yes. relationship. Boom. You let me know what it is. You want an open relationship? Maybe we could do that. Well, you want a sex relationship? Maybe we could do that. You want an emotional relationship? Maybe we could do that. But we have to talk about it and both pages have to be on the same, same page. page. Right. And That's if we, you do, and if you, from what I know now, if you do cheat on me, for me, it's two options. Either I'm walking out, or maybe I'll act like I don't know about my brother. Yeah. I'll be doing my thing. I'll cheat on you. Yeah, we are not going to be in an open well, that, relationship. That's, that's 50, you know 50. what I mean? And back to what this lady is saying is that a lot of women take their men back after cheating, especially when there are kids involved or yes. there's a Which history. I agree, by the way. Women money. always take the, the man back. But the men don't Most take the men do back. not take the woman back yes. True. because they are hurt. They are broken, Eagle. and their Eagle. egos will not allow them to. Yeah. And that also goes to show how weak a man might be in a certain situation or in a vulnerable situation. I even had guys tell me that even if they break up with a girl and the girl goes to date somebody else, they will never take her back because it means somebody else has been there. Rubbish. Like, are you mad? Yeah. 
Rubbish. Like, yeah. I understand that's, what she's that's saying rubbish. about, you know, no, I, I, several men are saying that. I understand that. what she's saying because sometimes just packing your stuff and leaving doesn't really solve anything. Like you said, you're going to take that same thing and go, you know, moving to your next to relationship. Next next I think sometimes you next. need to factor everything involved. Do you guys have kids together? How long were you guys together? Factor all of those things and make the right decision for yourself and for your families. Because there's been in situations where uh, um, females have forgiven their men and they are now happy. Example, Beyonce and Jay-Z, they seem happy. I'm not in a relationship, but I'm saying sometimes just picking up There's your stuff. There's a billion dollars on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But sometimes just picking up your stuff and leaving doesn't really solve anything as well. Okay, now you left. Now what? Now your your, your son is... Uh, uh, growing up without a mother or Growing up without, without a father, father and mother. So and, 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 that? and that trauma can is going to leave... It so can affect can the I child. Chime in on it's that? it's going to affect the child. Can I chime in on that? Go ahead. Because I hope my sister and my brother don't get upset at me about this. My But my dad cheated on my my mom constantly. Mm -hmm. And my mom stayed with my dad for 22 years mm -hmm. because she felt like, okay, you know what? We have kids together. Mm -hmm. That was my high school sweetheart. That was the only man my mom has ever been with up till mm -hmm. date. Mm -hmm. My mom has ha never even got remarried or anything. Wow. And honestly, I, I feel she's like... She's beautiful. She needs to be very you. beautiful. And, and I, men would come, but... I mean, I think that, I mean, she loved my dad so much mm -hmm. that she, it probably, I don't know, maybe she never got over it. But I think it had a lot to do with us, too. She wanted to protect us and do what was best for us. And she didn't want to get a stepfather involved. Mm -hmm. And she really tried her best to do it on her own after that point. But I think psychologically, it affected not just me, but me, my mm -hmm. brother, and my sister. And I think it's one of the reasons that maybe I pick men that cheat on me. Because let's be, I was a daddy's it's girl. A my dad was my world. Mm -hmm. You know, but like, I lived, is, I grew up with my no dad. Problem, let me so say that's what I'm saying. When women stay... When women stay, sometimes you think you're staying because you want your kid to grow up in a house with mommy and daddy, but mm -hmm. sometimes you might be doing your kid more harm than good. more good. All right. And I'm on the opposite side. My mother was the woman that my dad cheated on his wife with. Oh! And she what? had us. So, you think oh. about, like, my mother was the other woman. So, oh. okay. okay. The and other woman. The other woman. And Whoa. had two children. And then my dad really wasn't, he was absentee, of course, because he's going to focus on his family, which yes. would be that. Yes. So, there's the flip side. And how does it feel for my mom, who fell in love with this man, who's married, mm. right? Mm. So, like, it's just so many layers with it. Like, it, 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 the thing about cheating, it upsets so many different people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just the people involved, but the other people, the children, the families. Sometimes families become really cool, then things happen because they're cheating. So you have to think about that. When you're going to make this decision, what is the decision going to happen? And also, what if, if a man cheats or a woman cheats and somebody gets an STD? Mm. What happens then? Uh, There's so many layers to this, right? Yeah. Yeah. When you're talking yeah. about cheating. So when you're going to make that step, ha. Huh, Make sure you are ready yeah. for what's going to come with it. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, there's no one rule, though. Like what I was saying, you have to know your situation. Mm -hmm. You have to know your family and do what's best for you. Mm -hmm. So in a situation where there is kids, my thing is at least think about that as well. When you're making that decision to just pack your stuff and leave, put that in, in, into yeah. factors and make that decision right. Because sometimes it does affect the, the child whether or not you leave. Because sometimes when you leave as well, it affects the child or when you stay, it affects the child as well. So mm -hmm. you have to just know you your situation. You should just not cheat at all, especially when there are kids. Like, mm -hmm. that's just... You should just not cheat, period. Yeah, because, because my brother at 14 looked at my mom and said to my mom, like, why are you here? Because mm -hmm. it was that bad to the point that we knew some of my dad's girlfriends. Wow. Like, you get what I mean? Because you know in Africa, like, yeah. it's a normal thing. So when your 14-year-old child, and my mom said that, that's what made her leave, was when my brother said that. Because at that point, it's like, okay, I'm staying for the kids, but even my 14-year-old child know what's going on. And, and then you have me, where my 9-year-old son looks at me and tells me that he's never going to get married. And I'm like, oh, why? Shoot. And he says, what's the point? Like, you and daddy got married, and now you guys are not together. I'm not mm. together. Mm. You oh understand? My God. So yeah. there are so many different layers. So you just, especially when there are kids involved in it, just don't do it or be open. And that's why, like, like my friend, like, I respect it when... The wife knows Monday to Friday, don't call me. She knows Monday to Friday, don't call At least she knows. And whatever she thinks he's doing Monday to Friday, I don't know what she thinks, but she knows Monday to Friday, don't call. And she chooses to deal that with it. Like and and what, Gl mess. Glitz, you said about mm -hmm. the STD got me thinking, mm -hmm. you can also get married to your own stepsister without knowing because your father is over there having mm -hmm. babies left and right. <laughs> and now you meet this girl, now, yes. you get married to her, and yes. you find out that it, uh, that's your like stepsister. Absolutely. Sounds like a Tyler Perry movie. Uh, it's, I'm like, telling you. it's like ridiculous. I'm telling you. So then how do we solve this cheating thing? How do you... Is there ever like a... a... We should be honest with each other and realize mm, yeah. that we are not monogamous. It's mm. simple and... There's no solution. Come to, 
Which yeah, you be like human beings are not monogamous and adults have to just be adults about certain situations. Like, look, this is what it is, this is what it is. And then just try to be best parents when there are kids involved. I feel like that's the only, there is no solution for it because I don't think, every seven years we change. It's a proven fact. Oh my goodness. Well, but well, there's something I, I, called mm -hmm. um, um, self-control. Mm. Doesn't that come in? Is it psychology? It should. Because things can be put in, in front of you, but you decide whether or can not you go into it. Mm. Yeah, I can if I'm not high or, you know. Exactly. That's an excuse. Exactly. That's an excuse. No, but so, self-control so has to be your right state of you. mind. Why you have to be in your right state of mind to but have self-control. That's an excuse. Your wife asked you, why did you cheat? I was high. I, I, didn't cheat. I was drunk. I, I, I was drunk. I, 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 that is I, I, I not an cheat. excuse. No, but the funny thing is I don't get drunk. Once I'm feeling it, I, I dip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, I you think get that the main, the main factor of cheating is that you have to communicate. Mm. If I'm tired of you, if you're not giving me what I want, I need to tell you this is not working out. I think that we just stay in stuff because it's comfortable. Mm. Because you, mm. it's hard to find somebody new. It's feeling. Exactly. It's so many layers. It's like, you know what? It's, it's hard. This person knows who I am. They know what to scratch my back. They I'm know invested. what to do. You're invested. And then you stay there as a doormat, letting somebody just continue doing that to you. Yes. It's ridiculous. So it's really about communicating. And and if you are going to want to date other people, you say, can we have open relationship? All right. So let's do it to the viewers then. Let us know in the comments your thought on this topic. Is cheating ever a deal breaker for you? Why or why not? Let us know. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, and thank you. We love you for watching. Come back. You're watching the ABS show. ABS. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.